I'm here with Simon Higgs, also known as Higgsy, if you know him. Um, this video is more about how easy it is to get a Matsura into your business. We've done a lot of machine tool reviews, but I want you to understand that if you are looking to buy a Matsura or considering the range, what are the other things that you need to consider? So first of all, Simon, um, what are Matsura famous for? So Matsura are famous for multi-pallet, five axis and horizontal machining centers. And it's the multi-pallet that kind of is where we need to change the way we're looking to buy a machine, isn't it? Yes, correct, yes. We're looking to grab every hour of every day by using multiple pallets and multiple tools in, in our machine equipment. So when you're buying a machine tool, you've got the cost of the machine, but really the extra considerations are the work holding and the tooling. So what is it that you do with customers to kind of get their head around these? So first of all, we like to um, work with the customers, taking their com existing components or new components from a design point of view and a concept, working alongside some of our application engineers and our management on applications, uh, Ronnie and John, will take their components, look to uh, draw up a concept, how many parts can we get per pallet, therefore giving them a longer runtime, and how are we going to machine those components. And your applications team, they've not been doing these five minutes, they've probably seen quite a few applications before. Yeah, of course. So our guys have been doing this for decades, ultimately, um, across the country, um, looking at different applications with different suppliers so we've got a lot of knowledge in different ways of holding parts different ways of machining parts that we can support and work with the customer to get the best solution and it's all about those small wins you know just having that extra component on work holding can make big changes can't it yeah of course there's many suppliers you can buy work holding off the shelf but also we like to look at an application around the customer's component. Therefore, if we can fit on an extra component or an extra two or three parts per pallet, then ultimately it gives us a longer runtime and more unmanned production. And with work holding, what are the limitations? Uh, there's no limitations. We will work with any work holding supplier, also the same as tooling. Um, so we like to use the customer's existing relationships with their work holding and tooling suppliers. Right, and, and fi financing all of this, how does that work? So obviously there's additional cost to the tooling and work holding, so a lot of our customers will look to add that upfront to their machine tool package because we've worked with them um, in getting a good idea about the work holding and the concept of machining, they can add that to their finance package which allows them then to spread those costs over the lifespan of the finance. So basically you're telling me that when someone buys a Matsura machine you can look after them from the start to the finish, tooling, work holding and also the whole thing comes as one package from yourselves. Yeah in fact we encourage customers to come to us with their existing parts with their new components so that we can work with them um, to find the best solution, the best Matsura machine that fits their needs. Cool, thank you.